When we're older, let's get married. Ha! You can't get married. Why not? Black people can't marry white people. Hey, now. It's Garnet from Steven Universe. Kids, don't be racist. Cut. OK, people, we just need to get coverage. We'll start again in five. This is the cheesiest job I've ever done. Stuff like this doesn't actually happen in real life. <laughs> whoa, whoa there. Are you kidding? It totally does. Just because this has never happened to you doesn't mean it doesn't happen. Oh, wow. Well, I'm sorry. Seriously, I didn't know. Yeah, everyone messes up sometimes. But you gotta realize it hurts to deal with racism. And when people act like it's not real, it makes it feel even worse. You have to acknowledge racism to work against it. You're right. I can do that. <laughs> you kids better work on this before the wedding. <laughs> Whoa, that's just We're for just the script. <laughs> we only just met today. All right, class. Can anyone tell me who invented the light bulb? Thomas Edison! That's not entirely true. The light bulb could more rightfully be attributed to Louis Latimer, the black inventor behind the filament inside the bulb. His invention made light bulbs affordable and efficient enough for the general public, bringing electric light into households around the world. Well, so, so now, now you, you know. know. Wait, is that it? Hold on. We're not going to mention why he invented the filament? To create a better standard of living for people who had only just been freed from slavery? Are we going to ask why kids are apparently learning about Thomas Edison? Thomas Edison! Ugh. And not learning about Louis Latimer? These textbooks are incomplete. There were black Roman warriors, black medieval knights, black classical musicians, black cowboys, black fighter pilots. Where are they? I worry about you humans because you only live, what, about a hundred years? You rely on these stories to know your own history. Thanks to systemic racism, most of your storytellers prioritize white accomplishments, which leaves you with an incomplete picture. Ask yourself as you're learning history, who's telling the story? Was this modified to make white readers comfortable? Are major details being left out that would credit people of color and center their point of view? Honestly, I should have asked for script approval before agreeing to do this. We'll do some rewrites. I'm sorry, we didn't know. Well, so now you know. I swear. Or purple? What the? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hold up a minute here. Ugh, who wrote this? I, I think it kind of does matter that I'm purple. I mean, I'm purple because I'm literally an alien. Well, I'm not an alien, but it definitely matters to me that I'm black. Yeah, it makes a difference that I'm white. I know the two of us get treated very differently. <sighs> I just think it's messed up to compare me being an alien to you two being different races. You're both human. You're you're totally biologically the same. Adding purple people into a lesson about human racism makes no sense. Yeah, yeah that's that is pretty, pretty weird. weird. I think people like the black, white, or purple thing because adding a fantasy race in there helps distract from the actual racism black people have to deal with. Right. My experience with anti-black racism is really specific. Other people of color experience other forms of racism too, but you won't see any of that if you don't see color. Dude, so this entire public service announcement could be a ploy to avoid talking about racism altogether. Hey, uh, can we get a rewrite where we appreciate each other without erasing what makes each of us different? Okay, but it's gonna add a couple hours to the shoot. I can make yours open. Uh, you were rolling just now, weren't you? Can't we just slap some graphics on this and call it a day? Hey there, guitar heads. Just dropped my friends off for a gig. For today's lesson... Chase it, Greg! Let's get out of here! Oh, why did we do this? What? The anti-racism shorts? We're not human, so who are we to speak for human people of color? Well, yeah, you can't do that, but you can speak for yourselves. You're allies. Allies? Explain. Well, anyone can be anti-racist. It can't only be up to marginalized people to speak out. That would be totally unfair. Besides, the camera loves you guys. Yes, my performance was flawless, but I see possible futures where we've made humans uncomfortable. 
And this has nothing to do with us. But it does. I used to think racism wasn't my problem because it wasn't hurting me. But every time I didn't fight it, I let systemic racism continue. And sure, talking about this stuff means you might mess up. But you can learn and you can care. And I know you care. You're the crystal gems. But how are these shorts going to fix anything? Well, being an ally is bigger than just one gig. It's about seeing your place in the problem. If you speak up, maybe people will follow your lead and be able to change the whole racist system. Maybe these shorts can't make a difference, but allies can. Yes, there are so many futures where systems change. See, we should have made a short about allyship. Greg, let's use this video as one of the shorts. What, me? But I'm just Guitar Dad. I wasn't trying to... Okay, fine. But I want a producer credit. <laughs>